Top of the morning, y'all. It's your boy, Chris. This is Fish Tank Review. We're getting straight into it. This is the part three of the more you look, the worse it gets. Saw this today at the clinic. Sad. What clinic is this? The clinically insane clinic? The person running this clinic needs a clinic. All right, the word clinic has started sounding weird to me. I've said it too many times. First thing that stands out are the betta fish bowls. My eyes just gravitate towards them because I hate them so much. And at the same level of those, we see some goldfish in a Cheetos container. I like Cheetos as much as the next guy. Not that much, actually. This looks like they just went on Wish. They went on Timu, AliExpress, and they just bought the first seven or so containers. If it had the keyword betta fish or goldfish in it, they got it. You try to make a legit fish tank with the first seven to ten items on Timu, you will not make something that would get even close to a one out of five. And some people might think, oh, fish police, you tell me if that needs to be changed or not. If you don't think so, I don't blame you. Again, it's early in the morning. If you think any of these are adequate fit, look at the one in the bottom. How can you... Moving on, it's the product of a sick mind. Damn, son. And I thought I was being savage. That's right, clinic owner needs clinic. Make it happen, stop, get some help. The one gallon beta sorority gets a few more points from me for originality. Wait, what? I'm coming back, I'm going back to this. It's truly the more you look, the worse it gets. Oh, it's that Lego block looking thing. It has more than one fish in it. From what I can see, it has three. Oh, I thought there was only one koi in the bottom one here. There's at least three koi. Wait, are those tiger barbs? All right, I didn't even look at this close to enough. This Timu abomination here, wish.com abomination, is so small that these fish conjoined in the face area. It's like the opposite of um, human centipede. <laughs> you learn something new every day. You learn what is possible and what is not possible in reality. Put it on their Yelp. That's right. If nothing else, give them bad Yelp review. But you know what? Like I was saying earlier, there's bound to be people who are like, there's nothing wrong with this. I'm gonna go out there and show my kids these cool tanks. My kids can have something to look at and be entertained. My kid loves fish. Ah, oh, kill me. Let's spend 10 times the money to make something 10 times crappier, right? At this rate, they could have just shelled out a few for bigger tanks. You'd be surprised actually. I would be very surprised if this was more than like a hundred bucks, maybe like 50 bucks. These things are cheap. That's the selling point of it all. Heck, that thing is a recycled container. They don't cost nothing. These are cheap products and that's what makes them so dangerous. Fish abusers are also cheap people. Somehow it just matches up. I'm not saying all cheap people are fish abusers. Heck, I'm cheap. Frugal. Frugal is the word I'm looking for, actually. What kind of clinic? That is what I'm wondering. Do y'all know? Let me know in the comments. Exactly. This looks like the place you go to sell one of your kidneys to the black market just so you can afford this month's rent. Hey, bro, why are you calling people out like that? Like, rent is blazing high these days, all right? You gotta do what you gotta do. If you gotta sell a few kidneys, did anybody else notice the pleco? No way in hell. Middle shelf left tank. I stand corrected. There it is. The more you look, the worse it gets. Part three. Zero out of five. Moving on with my life. Great segue, Chris. Thank you so much to the sponsor of this video. You guys for smashing like button. Smashing the like button. I missed a word there. <laughs> anyway, early Monday. That's my excuse. Shout out to my merch. Popular. Very popular. Highly popular. Designed by yours truly. Get it now. While supplies last. Surprise. It will always last. <laughs> I'm so good at marketing. Buy my stuff. <laughs> Honestly, buy it if you like it. It doesn't even make much revenue. If you really want to support me, please check out Patreon. But you know, it's, this is not, just check out the merch. It makes me happy if you get it. And it makes me feel like a true creative, you know? Somebody's wearing my art. Wow, Big Ben Ravens sent in this tank. The Facebook mom perspective. <laughs> you know, where they hold the camera like up so then it's coming down so they, they don't see their triple chins. That's what you did for your fish tank. And I respect it. I love this perspective on all the fish tanks, even my own. Wow, look at the dense plants floating up top. Tiger lily matches the speckled betta fish. Am I tripping or are there some like neons in here? Oh, there's neons in here, I'm not tripping. A little bit of oko stone here or there. Very light, small pieces that are very affordable. They get real expensive real quick. Clean scape with a scape score of 4.43 out of five. Keep it up. My wife wasn't really paying attention when she ordered fish flakes. La Croix for scale. Ew, who drinks La Croix? It's all about Coke Zero. Coke Zero Master Race, am I right? Now, that's a big bucket of fish food. I don't know how much fish you have, but that's gonna expire before you use it, I think. <laughs> Judging by the caption of the picture. So your wife increased the aquarium budget. Time to send in more tanks. That's right, that's like the biggest green flag if I've ever seen one. That is 
the best. Your wife is totally on board. And if she's not, if it's actually an accident, you have a great excuse. We can't finish all this food. We gotta get more fish, bigger fish, which means bigger tank. You don't wanna be a fish abuser, right? You don't wanna be a wife to a fish abuser. Haven't you seen that guy from Fish for Thought always nagging people on getting a bigger fish tank? Unethical school lab? Please help. Oh, this is the eco columns, whatever the hell that means. You should have said fish torture chamber. Hillstream loachers are quite expensive and hard to find fish to be using in an experiment like this. What a baffling choice. They're using Hillstream loaches, which yeah, that's the weirdest choice. They're so expensive. They tend to do well with faster moving things like you don't go to a hillstream biotope and see very stagnant water. You pick the worst fish for this. It's 2023. How can there still be a teacher that does this and gets away with it? Clay baby sent in this tank. At first I was like, uh, artificial plans, eh? And then I slapped myself because I don't think that's artificial. I think these colors are popping the F off of this planet, my broskies. Look at the surpace too. Beautiful. They sent like three other tanks, but this is another one of them. And this one's my favorite. A lot of Anubias, Nana Petite, some crypts, some buse, the detailing, the clean rimless look, a collective scape score of 4.56 out of 5. Keep it up. Went to pick up some free supplies and was also bestowed upon with guppies. And that is a lot of guppies. This is the spokesperson, the representative for everyone who has a male and a female guppy in one tank. They're always trying to give it away. Alice Lindbergh send in this. Wow. Wow. Beautiful SpongeBob tank. I'm not even mad. I feel like this person watched my FTR and was like, bet, let me make you something you will not say no to. Look at that beautiful Anubius Barteri. Look at that huge buse. The scape is immaculate. The detailing on the smaller rocks. That is a beautiful shade of beta. I've not even seen that before. What is that? That is a crazy beta. That's a five out of five beta. And in terms of SpongeBob, there's no way this is lower than a four and it's not like some crazy spongebob decor it's still tasteful 4.89 out of 5 scape score one of the highest spongebob decor rated tanks we've ever had on the channel congratulations bro it is hands down 5 out of 5 without the spongebob but i gotta respect it this bar has an aquarium in it all right all right i have not seen enough of the bar i need like the extension i need like a wide screen i mean if it extends across the whole bar and there's a big long bar with a lot of space to swim sure wait are those even goldfish they look like six Cichlids, maybe. Honestly, this could work. I can't judge this. Except for all the thuds, the constant like thuds, and maybe if someone gets drunk, they slam. That is a horrible choice. There should be an anti-slamming, anti-thud, anti-slide rule. You gotta be really uh, careful putting your little drinks down. Might look like a sissy going, going like <laughs> Weenie Hut Jr. type of but it's worth it. Once again, don't abuse animals. It should be a basic human thing. But I do have a question. Like, how do you clean this? How do you feed the fish? This is that macrobrachium dianum. You see how strong they are? You see how big they are compared to the fish and those claws? I mean, those are rummy nose tetras and it, it looks pretty fully grown. And rummy nose are not like slouchers. They're not small. Yet these shrimp, let me explain in a, in a hot second. Look, th these shrimp are keeping the fish at bay or at least that the biggest shrimp there. They are hunters. They are opportunistic. They literally will just keep all the other fish at bay. And there's a little cichlid. There's even that kind of hoplo looking albino hoplo maybe. I'm not really sure. There's even cichlids being kept at bay because of this big boy and they are snuck into the ghost shrimp thing when store is selling ghost shrimp these guys will be mistakenly put in there because it's really really hard to distinguish them from one another when uh they're that young and they grow up to be these monsters watch out if you're getting ghost shrimp just chilling with a beer in the best spot in the house man that is straight up vibes oh Holy crap. Oh, oh, it doesn't end. Oh, that is a fish room. This is magnificent. This is five out of five. Chill, chilling with a beer as well in hand. That is dreams, man, that is goals. I'm about to do this. I'm about to day drink. Oh, is that Budweiser? <laughs> Get some craft beer, bro. You're at home. You're not even camping. You're not at somebody else's house. Get yourself some craft beer, my G. You deserve it. I mean, you, you really deserve craft beer at least. Look at your setup. Don't you be don't you be drinking anything worse. Holy cow. I am jealous. I'm about to do that. I'm about to skedaddle out of here and enjoy myself some day drinking. <laughs> Say no to duckweed. This is a duckweed trapping apparatus. Wow. It looks DIY. Now I need this. Yep. That is ingenious. Can you drop the recipe? Can you drop the instructions on how to make this? It must not be too hard. I'm sure there's already tutorials out there on YouTube. 
You can get any surface skimmer, but this one is specifically made to filter out the duckweed, which is great. Duckweed be gone. Start selling this stuff too. 3D print it. Fishing in normal video game. Fishing in Subnautica. I've never played Subnautica, but I kind of get the gist of it. I've seen gameplay of it. I think you just go ahead and, and take the fish instead of actually fish. But that is kind of what saltwater fish hobbyists do, or at least the fish collectors in that hobby do. If it's wild caught, they will just actually go and try to grab them. I think they shoot them with a needle or something to subdue it. It's kind of messed up a little bit. I don't know what you guys think about that. What's the sentimentality around that? I think it is more common practice now to get most fish bred instead of being hunted on like a coral reef. This tank is sent in by jokes. And at first I thought this was a joke of a submission, but then I got past the crazy psychedelic colors right now. And I saw that giant angelfish. This is a 36 gallon bullfront tank and it's planted to perfection. If only, I mean, maybe this was a s artistic choice to scent when it's moonlight hours, but I just wish I could see the greenery and the red because I know I can see a lot of red plants like Ludwigia palustris maybe. Beautiful. I can't rate it. I can't rate it in good conscience. You guys know me. I can't be just rating anything out here without knowing the full context of things and we're missing a lot from this picture. People, don't send, don't submit your fish tanks in night mode because I won't rate it. Oh, look, a Gararuffa or maybe an Odo. Cute. Chris on FTR. I am once again asking you to stop abusing fish. Yeah, I'm going to be his age, 122, and fish tank review is still going to be there because there's still people abusing fish. I don't don't know how hard it is. You grow up to be a stand-up guy and all of a sudden you just start abusing fish. I don't know. People stop abusing fish. It's not that hard. A nice, realistic, and aesthetically pleasing looking tank. Rainbow gravel, kids. Little rainbow gravel. Did I see rainbow gravel? Freaking Tokyo drifting into the rainbow gravel aisle. <sighs> when I've tried so hard and got so far. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Anything more I can do for its shell? This is a PSA for all you shell uh, keeping, snail keeping uh, shell guys. What the heck? Feed him vegetables like spinach, broccoli, and carrots. You can also treat him with raw shrimp. I've never done the raw shrimp thing, but yeah, just feed a little bit, not too much of the uh, spinach, broccoli, carrots, zucchini, on top of adding some of those calcium blocks if you really need to, or crushed coral. Massive glass haul for $65. Ain't no freaking way, dude. Okay, I stand corrected. You know that, you know that post? You know the first post? That comment where it's like, you could have just spent a hundo to get better tanks. Okay, I just got proven wrong. You can definitely spend less money than you did on those three levels on that stand for sure. Look at what this guy did, man. Some of these looks like at least 35 gallons. Some are 20 gallons. I want to see before and after. Ugh. I love the office and I love betta fish. How could you do this to me? I'm personally offended on all levels. Absolutely appalling. Yo, bro, this brings me back, dude. Anyone else? Or is it just me? Was I just a sick kid? Like I was always sick with the flu. I spent so long in hospitals waiting to get checkups and this stuff like helped me get through it mentally. I would have probably like brain damage if this wasn't around to play with when I was waiting for my doctor's appointments. This thing slaps hard. Like I could still play with this. I should go get it now. I'm back into like retro gaming. Got myself an RG XX. 35 or something like that. It's a handheld retro Game Boy thing. You can play like PS1 games as well. SNES. I love that thing, man, to bits. And I want to play with this. All right, <laughs> now you know. Your boy is a nostalgic guy. Five out of five nostalgia. Five out of five fish tank. Welcome to the end of the episode. Hope I made your Monday go just a little better here on Fish for Thought. Thank you so much for tuning in. And before I let you guys go, this is the question of the week. What is your snack of choice in the middle of the day when you get the munchies, maybe on your job, maybe during your studies? What are you grabbing? Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys there and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button. There'll be more videos to come and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod from Karasiformis to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live famsas, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without furt, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.